Hello, welcome to another episode. Today we see Halsa from Guillotine Games Zombie Side. After a spray of Corax White, we can start with the base color. For the skin, I tried a different method from Grindlock, but I'm not 100% happy about the final result. I used Bugsman Glow with a layer of Kislev Flash on Raised Area and pure Kislev Flash in the zombie version. For the cat suite, I created a dark purple, mixing Genestealer purple with a small part of Abaddon Black. For a more bluish cat suite, you can use a very dark blue color, for example Cantor Blue or Macrag Blue with Abaddon Black. With one of these two mix you can obtain a different color from the boots, the katana sandal and ammo pouch, painted using pure Abaddon Black. The curvy hair received a coat of Wild Rider Red, the blade and metal zip were painted using Stormhost Silver and the pistol with lead belcher. For the shading, I used Reikland Flash Shade for air and the skin, Nuln Oil for the rest of the models. First, I lighted the cat suite. You can do multiple stages using the original color and reducing progressively the quantity of black or adding a lighter color for the most prominent details. For the black parts, a first highlight of Ashen Grey and another one using Mechanicus Standard Grey. For all metal, I used Storm or Silver. And for the hair, a first highlight of Wild Rider Red. And after, an edge highlight with Troll's Layer Orange for a brighter effect. Pure Kislev Flash was used for all the skin in both models. I painted the base using a mix of Mars Red and Leather Brown from the Army Painter range. And after that, a protective spray. Final touches could be done using Blood for the Blood God for some wound and the blade. I also used pure hard coat for the boots and a mix of one part hard coat and one part water for the cat suite. And now you can see the two completed model. Thank you for watching and see you soon!